Hey there, welcome back to a very special episode of The Lab. We're coming to you from Freddy's Place right here in the heart of South Austin, Texas, and I'm Daddy Clay. And I'm Daddy Brad. Today's episode is brought to you by Baby Bjorn, architect certified safe for your baby, Baby Bjorn. We are asking questions to parents. They're very controversial, and we're getting very controversial answers. The question of the day is this. When, if ever, is it okay to parent someone else's children? Is it ever okay to parent another person's child? Uh, depends. If it's gonna, if it's a child that's hurting your child, mm -hmm. yes. If it's a child that's in danger of doing something they shouldn't, yes. If it's your own personal opinion, no. I would think if uh, if you've got a kid who's wielding a steak knife at another child in a restaurant, and the parents aren't paying any attention. Absolutely. If the kid's shooting spitballs, no. What if they ask, somebody else's kid asks you a question about sex? <laughs> it depends on how well I know them. I figure if it's a person as a parent, I'm okay with them delicately nudging my child or, or letting him know that that's an inappropriate thing to do. Let's pretend like the camera is a small child torturing an animal. How would you parent that child? Remove your hands or any instruments of torture from the animal. Yes, I just, I mean, if I see someone on a slide at Chick-fil-A with a plastic utensils and their mother is sitting there and says it's okay, I will say, sweet friend, why don't you put that silverware in the trash can because they're going to hurt my baby. As a teacher, I feel entitled to parent all the time. Strangers, children, because I, I have this license kind of as a teacher. You ever get any pushback on that? Not so much. Not so much. If you give them your teacher face, it's okay. Oh. It works. And has anybody ever stepped in and parented your kid? Yes. Just recently on the playground over here. Told him yeah. to stop flipping rocks. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say something actually. Oh, oh. But, uh, you saw him too. I'm totally, say you're sorry. I'm totally kidding. Dang right you are. <laughs> yes, in fact, I think that is the obligation of every parent. I try to parent other people's kids around the computer, what do you mean? Well, not exactly parent, but strictly remind. People try all the time. I mean, people tell you all kinds of advice about uh, parenting. I think everybody has their own, everybody has their own kids, and they try to say, all right, you know, this worked for my kids, and so, you know, it might work for yours, but I think what's important you become an expert on your own kid. I think other people's kids need to hear from me, honestly. Because you're a good parent. Uh, but on the other hand, they're not allowed to speak to my children. I have a strict rule about that. I'm, yeah, I'm with you. I'm the parenting you. is one way here in this family. In the parenting brain right here. Hey, thanks to Baby Bjorn for sponsoring this lovely evening at, uh, at Freddy's Place. Thanks to Mootsy for the diaper giveaway. If you've got thoughts about parenting other people's kids, go to dadlabs.com and leave us a message. And you can expect to hear back from us. We want to see you there on dadlabs.com. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time, maybe from Freddy's Place, here in the lab. Uh, yeah.